What's up? This is Nathan Walters. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Today I did a cover, or the other day I did a cover. It's of Jonas Brothers and Diplo's new song called Lonely. Uh, make sure you tell me what you think in the comments. Stay afterwards if you want, because I'm going to be sharing some production tips of how I made the track, and uh, hopefully you'll learn something new. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you loved it. And if you got any ideas for another cover for me to do, put that in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. All right, here's a production tip I want to share with you on one of the cool little hooks that was happening in, in the uh, in the chorus. How did I make that sound? What was it? Here you go. I'm going to show you right now. Check it out. On Diplo's track, it's a, uh, I think it's a guitar. Um, and I thought it was really cool because normally you would think that would be a synth, you know? Um, but then I thought if I did it, I didn't feel like trying to play the guitar and be like them. So I thought, man, I'm a big vocal guy and I'm really into to, when I hear a sound and I don't want to recreate it, I will go ahead and just kind of sing it out and then turn my voice into a synth. So that's exactly what I did. So here's what I sang down with no effects. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, so that's very raw. Obviously, I didn't even put fades on there. You hear those pops and clicks. And then I added some autotune just to make this thing really lock into place. Sounds like this. And then next, I put this thing by Sound Toys. I really love this company. This is called Alter Boy. And how I used it was to add an octave. And then I put it through one of uh, UAD's amp plugins where it models a, a real guitar amp. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. And then I thought, man, there's some offensive EQs in there. It's really bothering me. So let's take care of that. <laughs> then I'll go ahead and put a filter on the sound, which is this. And I'll kind of automate the filter that you see. It's kind of moving right there. Uh, this filter is just with logic, super simple, nothing fancy. And then to really make things come into place, I love Valhalla Vintage Verb. This plugin's like 50 bucks if you're interested. Really brings some depth, makes that come to life. And then here's a fun thing. This is kind of where a little magic sauce happens. This is a compressor. I use this as a side chain. For those of you who are like, what the heck is a side chain? Uh, basically, I, I make another track. In this case, I'm gonna put a kick drum on there going. 
And every time that signal happens, it's going to be sent to this compressor. So now every time that kick hits, boom, boom, it's going to make the compressor push down the vocal sound. And my, and my vocal is going to kind of dip and kind of pump. And I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Here you go. <laughs> It's more on the subtle side of things, but once once a track happens, it really locks in and adds this energy, it makes it come to life. And that's how that sound happens, and you hear it in the track. I know you heard it on the cover, but I'll play it one more time right here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you can think of any covers that you want me to, to do, give me some ideas. Put it in the comments and I'll try to pick some of them out and see if I can do it next week. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Till next time, make sure you like and subscribe. Feel free to share this video. See ya.